well in this video i will be discussing uh, again regarding the continuation of the previous video that i did uh, on unitaries and their circuit implementation so you see um, uh, in the previous video we proved this result that any unitaries can be written in this form where a b c itself are unitary and further a b c product is identity this really came from trying to write uh, unitaries u in form of e power i alpha uh, where alpha is a arbitrary phase times uh, you have the rotation along the, an arbitrary axis theta which uh, feels quite intuitively true if you think in the bloch sphere the unitary is what they do is that they just rotate the states in the bloch sphere so it 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 must be true that any unitary that i act it must be some sort of a rotation about some angles where composition of unitaries can take you to rotation from one angle to another angle so uh, that is the intuitive notion of the fact that u is this uh, actually that is the intuitive notion that unitaries can be written in terms of the rotation group elements uh by uh, of the rotation around arbitrary axis the n hat axis uh times up to a phase so let's move on so today what we will do is we will try to construct a controlled unitary so uh, if you remember in one of my video i have discussed regarding the control c not operation so so this is really identity 00x so what this means is that if the controlled bit this upper part is in one is in one then flip or the flip the lower bit flip this so what we will do this uh, in this uh, uh, video i will try to say that if the controlled bit is in one well, which is in the qubit in uh, computational basis then apply it if it is not in one if it is in zero then don't apply so let's see how it is implemented so obviously the first step of implementing is just try to use these things i mean this is already the implementation but i must break it down in terms of the circuit elements so let's see so for this uh, what i need is first apply this phase element actually i have to apply this phase element at last because the ket will act from c so but let's try to construct it what it must do uh, is quite simple to see is that it must take the 0 0 basis to 0 0 it must take the 0 1 basis to 0 1 it must take the 1 0 basis to 1 0 up to a phase of e power i alpha it must take the 1 0 basis like this it must take the 1 1 basis to 1 1 only up to a phase of e power i alpha so that's the fact that the control bit is 1 it can also be 0 if i had uh, uh, the x flips acting here but that's not for this video so so let's fix it to 1 so these are the condition and you can quickly by a glance of i see that uh, this kind of a circuit well let me see it here so 0 0 e power i alpha times identity 4 cross 4 will guarantee that because you see 0 0 0 in 1 0 basis so 1 0 is 0 0 1 0 and 1 1 is 0 0 0 1 these two must change by a overall phase of i alpha that means this block diagonal entry must be this so that's what i have shown it here so this must be true but now you see uh this must be true but this is just this you see i just broke this in terms of the tensor product from here to here now but we know like i have discussed already in my videos that this is just like implementing this circuit where you consider this two branches together 
एंड इफ लोअर ब्रांच हैज नथिंग दैट मीन्स यू आर एक्टिंग विद अ टेंसर आइडेंटिटी बिकॉज यू हैव अ टू टेंसर हिलबर्ट स्पेस क्यूबिट टेंसर प्रोडक्ट स्पेस यू नीड समथिंग दैट इज ऑफ द सेम डायमेंशन सो दैट ब्रिंग्स एस टू द वर्किंग ऑफ द फेज ऑपरेशन सो नाउ इट्स वेरी इजी टू एक्ट एनी आर्बिटरी यूनिटरी बाय रिमेंबरिंग दिस डिकम्पोजिशन सो आई हैव ड्रॉन इट हियर सो यू सी इफ द कंट्रोल बिट इज जीरो दिस एक्सॉर दिस एक्सॉर डजेंट अप्लाई the t goes in it takes abc and give will give you identity because abc are such unitary operators that satisfy the uh, relation that abc product is identity if they are non zero if if the q uh, this uh, bit is one then it is set then this is it takes c it applies an x operator it takes b it applies an x operator it takes a it applies a phase operator so this gives you this so the and this part is really u so we are done so we have applied u conditionally now the point is this is on 2 uh, qubit so this is a Uh, this is a uh, this is a quantum state of dimension two. This is of dimension two. Each of them are qubit. So we can condition on n qubits actually. So you see, you you have a uh, suppose you have two 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 like this. You have tensors up to n. So this is the state, which is a Hilbert space of two power n dimension, and this suppose is a Hilbert space of. Uh, let's suppose this is a hilbert space of k dimension uh, the dimension the same dimension you have access to your unitary presently we have access to only two dimensional two cross two unitaries so let's assume k is equal to 2 so what this means is that whenever each of this 1 to n entry all the qubits are in one state i will apply my unitary to this if they are not in if any one of them is not in one state i will not apply so this is equivalent to saying that uh just applying the unitary like this so you can see from here to here uh where this pi where this pi that i have written here uh is just product it is the product of each of this qubit so that if any one of them is in zero state the product will go to 1 uh, will go to 0 and the unitary will not be applied i hope this is clear so now let's look at as an example so this is the application of toffee gray this gate is very important and it can't be constructed classically but by using qubits we can construct this gate so what this gate does is that it says that it conditions it says that if and only if these both bits are in one state i will flip the target bit if any one of them is not in one state that means if any one of them is not set then it won't flip so you can see here i have written the true uh, these are the three lines now this uh, have uh, so the circuit is drawn like this so let's try to see that so so if the state is 0 0 so i put here 0 i put here 0 none of the bits are set i will pick up two time two times so i will get a rotation of pi by 2 about y axis and these two will give a rotation of minus pi by 2 about y axis they will cancel and my bit will remain same it will just be multiplied by a identity now let's see if upper one gets a 1 and lower one gets a 0 then what happens so now uh, le let me just do it in here so you see so if upper one gets a 1 and lower one gets a 
then only this one is set so only this one is set so let's quickly implement that so i will get plus so a pi by 4 this one nothing here So I will get this. Now let's see. So this is pi by 2. This is minus pi by 2. So I will get minus pi by 2. X pi by 2. I can put here. X square. So X square is identity. So this gives me. Uh, so X. This entire thing will just be a minus pi by 2. So I will get a minus pi rotation about r y and then I will get x times this state. But you see uh, so r y as a function of theta is just uh, cos theta by 2 identity minus sine theta by 2 y uh, with a i but uh, pi by 2 is 0 that will give me i times y so my overall state will just be i y x act like this let's try evaluating this thing so y times i will be what 0 uh, so i square so that's 1 y is 0 minus i i 1 so that gives me Ding, ding. and let's do this so, zero, zero, zero. Um, well uh, wait a minute so I think I have done some um, well um, let me just check it once more so I square is minus 1 so this goes with oh yeah so this is 1 this goes with this 0 uh, 0 this gives me minus 1 putting on this now the state is a qubit so this is the, the z operator acting on the state it will either give me plus minus times the state so my state remains unchanged up to a factor of phase a phase of uh, if it is minus then i will get what so i will get i pi if it is plus then i will get there is no phase so this uh, so this really means that this also keeps the state same up to a phase but the phase is not important now let's apply one to both of them so i am applying one one so if i apply one to each of them what i will get is let's see so uh, so everything is set now so pi by 4 x pi by 4 x um, minus pi by 4 So pi by 4 x pi by 4 x minus pi by 4 with pi by 4 x pi by 4 x minus pi by 4 x and minus pi by 4 acting on this well get this now so this here together is minus pi by 4 it cancels this one so I get minus pi by 4 x minus pi by 4 times this now put again two x's here that will give me minus pi by 4 that's pi by 4 and then i will get x times this this is again identity this gives me x times this that is the flipped operator so that is just the flipped operator so because so, well uh, i think you didn't see that so you see, uh, so I just applied this. Now this entire thing is minus pi by 4 rotation. And uh, because because x, y, x is minus y. Then uh, if this is minus, uh, this is minus pi by 4, it takes this one down to give a identity. 
then I will be left with this. I again put 2x, x square is identity, x is the Pauli x operator. So this gives this part plus pi by 4, this takes this down to give this and then I have the flipping. So this circuit flips whenever both the bits are 1 and hence it is a Toffley gate. So let's look at the, uh, now let's for the final thing. Let's look at this uh, implementation of a CN operator. So, so what is the CN operation? So CN operation what it does is that uh, the first four bits are the control bits and these are just the working bits and this is something that we don't need but we need this for the circuit implementation and this last part is the target bit. So what it will do is that if and only if these four bits are one, implement the unitary. If that is not the case, then don't implement. Let's see quickly. So if C1, C2 is one, automatically this passes to one here. If C3 is one, this passes to one here. If C4 is one, this passes to one here. This just puts this one. Any one of them here, whenever is zero, the zero doesn't pass on to one and hence the circuit is not implemented. So this is how it is generally done to uh, create entangled state or you know uh, simulation of Maxwell demons and things like those. So I hope this uh, lecture was clear particularly the Toffley grade I tried to show. So important relations that one must remember is that x y x is minus y x z x is minus z which just means that x rotation by theta about y or z x is just rotation y or z minus theta so uh, that's all for this video